to begin with breaking news. One person killed after an overnight crash involving a car and a semi. It happened at 3 this morning on the Dan Ryan at 83rd Street, the collision causing both vehicles to catch fire. You see there firefighters working to put out those flames. One person was pronounced dead at the scene, another taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And this crash is still causing some traffic issues this morning as lanes are closed for the investigation. Chris Habermill in Chopper 2. He's been covering this all morning. He has an update for us right now. What can you tell us, Chris? Well, Ryan and Audrina, we are six hours in now to uh, this crash ever since the event happened. As you uh, pointed out, it was about 3 a.m. this morning. This is the current state of affairs. We've got three right lanes that have been reopened on the outbound side of the Ryan. They were closed off for a long time at 83rd Street, so you can get past the scene now. But as you can see, this is in real time, so that's not slow motion, folks. That is exactly how slow the drivers are getting past here. Two left lanes are blocked. We have a uh, heavily charred semi. The trailer floor is burned away. The roof is melted off. The, the cab and chassis, it's all just down to the frame rails there. So they're scooping out the burned interior, and it's going to take a while, so those two left lanes are going to be blocked till further notice. So. The outbound side of the Ryan is what you're seeing here. It's essentially stopped from about 71st down to 83rd. A lot of people are still bopping off and trying to get over to South Lafayette, and that's backed up. That's uh, at the top part, middle of the screen there. That's the West Frontage Road. Down below the inbound side, that's also backed up with Gapers coming off the Ford and 57. The overview basically shows exactly where the Ford and 57 are really starting to back things up here. So the Ryan, either direction south of the Skyway, is a big hassle here this morning. So maybe Halstead or Stoney still your uh, surface streets in order to route around any of the congestion here. It's still going to take a little while longer. So on site portion of the investigation done. We're in the cleanup phase now. Also getting word to get a pretty big crash out in uh, Lockport at Route 53 in Caton Farm. That area is shut down. Multi-vehicle crash there as well. So still a busy Monday this morning. A couple of spots to route around. Chris Habermill, CBS 2 News. Chris, thank you so much for those updates on that.